My name is Dan Yanku. Uh, I'm originally from Romania. Uh, I was born in Ploiesti, it's a small city uh, north of Bucharest, the capital. I came to the U.S. in 2002. Um, I basically did my last two years of college uh, at Yale University. So I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and computer science. After Yale, I did a master's at Harvard, two years in engineering sciences. And after Harvard, I did my PhD at MIT in operations research. Uh, the topic of my research was um, robust optimization, multi-period robust optimization. I know it sounds a bit abstract, but uh, it actually has a uh, some nice implications even to real-world problems. Well, uh, the Goldstein is certainly a very prestigious fellowship and uh, it gives one a lot of academic freedom. I had known of it from uh, other professors in my home department at MIT and I knew that it's a terrific opportunity. Basically, one can uh, pursue one's own research agenda and at the same time one can interact with all the uh, people in different groups at IBM, also the consulting side. So it's basically a lot of intellectual freedom and it's um, good exposure to real world problems as well. So it just seemed like a terrific opportunity to have. Um, so I'm uh, partly continuing my own research agenda from uh, my PhD. So basically my main interests are uh, dynamic optimization under uncertainty. It's basically looking at how one could do things better <laughs> when one is facing a lot of uncertainty. And most of my research is really focused on um, risk averse behavior. So how should one optimize uh, really bad scenarios and take decisions that you know guarantee good outcomes in pretty bad scenarios. And uh, I'm continuing that here and started talking to some people who are also sharing similar interests and uh, that will be one major aspect of my research here. I think these first three weeks have been quite uh, productive in that sense. Uh, people here have been very friendly so as I came in my manager introduced me to a couple of people in our own group in risk analytics. At the same time I met uh, several people in optimization and some other related groups uh, mostly over lunch. So I've already made quite a few connections and um, I'm hoping to do more of that in the months to come. Uh, so I certainly enjoy sports, um, soccer and tennis being two of them. Um, and I, I also like uh, fine dining and watching old movies. And um, On the sports side, the people here have actually been very um, um, supportive <laughs> in some sense. As soon as I came in, uh, an email was sent out with a brief bio of mine. and. Uh, I had mentioned in there that I'm interested in soccer and tennis and people already contacted me immediately. There were two emails, one about the soccer games which are organized here daily <laughs> and the other one about the tennis games which are happening twice or three times a week. And as soon as I get my tennis rackets uh, uh, stringed, I'm gonna start joining them. <laughs> so most of my research so far has been more in the theoretical realm. Some of the models that we developed are maybe immediately applicable, but part of my goal here is actually to talk to some of the people on the more applied side. So people working with uh, consulting services and uh, working on with real data and on re real problems and to see exactly how my models could be could become better and how they're more applicable in those realistic situations. Ideally, again, since my research is sort of on the on risk-averse behavior and risk-averse uh, decision-making, I would hope to be able to spot a couple of decision instances when that's really relevant and my methodology would do better than existing ones. No, it's actually very true. I mean, uh, what my manager told me in our very first meeting was, you know, the expectations for the next couple of weeks are just for me to get to know people, what they're doing, what they're working on, uh, so that I could get involved with some of the projects that are happening, but at the same time I'm allowed to freely pursue my own interests. So it, it really is freedom, it's not just marketing.